Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're checking out the weirdest airsoft pistols. We're going to be starting out with this $89 mini gold gas pistol. And throughout the video, the prices of the airsoft pistols will continue to increase until we get to today's grand finale of this insane $1,000 airsoft pistol. Alright guys, first up, let's see what we got. Wait a minute, this isn't an airsoft pistol. This is my first limited edition clothing drop. All right, so enough joking around, guys. This is my first clothing drop I've ever actually done on this channel. I am extremely, extremely excited for this and to show you guys all of the different designs and what comes in the drop. And the theme for this drop, guys, is kind of like a really cool like Western style and the theme is shoot him with kindness. So let's actually jump ahead and show you guys what's all in the drop. So the first thing is actually a really cool black t-shirt actually with the design on the back and then the front has a small version of that design right here and it says shoot him with kindness. And the company I'm working with actually sent me a whole bunch of different blanks of the t-shirt shirts and sweatshirts and the hat. That means I actually got to test out the products. I wore them. I work out in them. I actually wash tested them and I did everything I could to actually test the products just to make sure the quality was good enough for you guys. This is the next thing in the drop. Just a simple little black dad hat with the embroidered design right there. All right, next up we have this really cool sweatshirt as well. The design is the same actually as the t-shirt except this guy has a really cool little border around the design as well, making it look kind of just a little bit more detailed. And then the front of this guy just has the design right there as well as Wag Armory and that's the actual site I'll be selling these guys on. And that will be in the first link in the description below. Next up I have a really Really cool holographic sticker with the main design right there. Pretty sick. Next up, I actually have a jet tag. Let's actually open this eye up and see what it looks like. And then there is the back right there. It says shoot him with kindness, which is the theme for this drop, as well as the front has a wag armory on there with the little cool little Western style logo right there. And you could use this little metal ring to put these on your airsoft gun sling mounts or even your keychains. And last but not least, we actually have the patch and sticker pack. It has a custom little like packaging on the front and back, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and open this guy and show you guys the different designs. And of course, all the patches have that Velcro backing so you can put it on any of your airsoft gear. Here is the three designs right here. We got a bull skull with a tactical helmet. We got a cactus with an airsoft gun and some cool glasses and a cowboy hat, pretty cool design. And as well as the main design right there. And of course, all the patches are made from a very high quality PVC. So not only are they durable, but they have a very nice like little 3D feel to them. In the patch pack, you do get two stickers of each design as well. So obviously I'm super excited for this drop and for you guys to actually get your hands on this stuff. And I'm working with a very talented team as well with this. So all of the drop will be done very professionally. It's not just me doing this. All of the quality for everything is amazing and all the shipping times will be great as well. I've been trying to find the right partner for clothing for years and I finally found the right one. I'm super excited to actually be working with them and be able to release this awesome stuff for you guys. I'm super excited for this. In celebration of this launch, I'm also going to be giving away my $1,000 VFC MK18 to someone that buys something from the drop. Every dollar spent on the drop is an entry to win this crazy $1,000 MK18. All this stuff is limited edition, so once it's sold out, it's gone forever. And the site is live so you can actually go grab this stuff right now if you want to grab something or grab all of it it is the first link down in the description below and a little exciting announcement for all of the airsoft club members you do get 15 percent off everything in this drop so if you're already an existing member or you want to sign up that is one of the benefits of the airsoft club is you get 15 percent off everything on wagarmory.com but of course that's not the only benefit of the club you get automatically entered into weekly airsoft gun giveaways if you are a part of the club pretty much everything i unbox on this channel i do give away to airsoft club members as well as everything in this video and also do bonus giveaways every single month on the club as well and you get free patch and stickers when you sign up as well as access to exclusive discord so if you want to get 50 percent off all of the stuff i release from this drop go ahead and join the airsoftclub.com now is a great time to join but now with this exciting announcement over let's go back to the video all right so this is the first weird pistol for today's video we have the max tack um deringer maybe deringer i have no idea all right google translate here we go let's uh see what this bad boy is called Derringer? Not expect that. I'm not good with words, so we needed to do that quick Google Translate. Anyway, this is the first pistol of today. This is the Max Tag Der. F <laughs> this is the Max Tag. What? I can't do this. Derringer. Derringer. <laughs> this guy comes in at ninety dollars. As you can see, it is gas powered. Let's check it out. Ooh, that is right, people. We got a gold boy. Oh my gosh, it's actually like way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Damn, okay. Dude, this literally feels like a brick of gold, bro. Let's take it out and check it out. This is basically what we got. This guy is super small. So to shoot this guy, you pretty much just like cock it back and shoot it like that with these like weird little tiny little trigger right there. Kind of funny, honestly. And then to actually load this guy up, it's pretty interesting. You have this little latch actually down there. You just take this guy out like so and you put it all the way over there. And then instead of latching downward like this, it actually latches upward. So it's kind of interesting. So I got the BBs actually loaded up in those little chambers right there. They're pretty cool. You just pretty much just take the BB and pop them in there. Make sure this is latched up. Put the green gas in the bottom and you're ready to go. I'm assuming it shoots one at a time, but it might shoot both. So we'll see if this uh, chronograph works. 
Ooh, okay, so I think it's one at a time. So first shot is 170.7 FPS with 0 0.27 joules. Second shot is 151.4 FPS with 0 0.21 joules. I'm not even sure if this guy's gonna hit, but we'll see. <laughs> it like lobs to it, but it still makes it. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that went right over. It's like barely lobbing to the target. That time didn't even shoot. Oh, and that time went just straight up. All right, we'll give this guy a little break and scoot up about 20 feet here. There it goes, okay. Oh, that one went straight up, but actually pretty far though. This thing is definitely pretty weird. So the first shot is actually pretty accurate to the actual iron sights. And then the second shot pretty much just goes straight up. So you aim correctly with the first bow, the second bow, you actually have to aim quite a bit down. So that's very interesting. Definitely adding to this guy's weirdness. All right, let's give this guy two more shots. No, damn, the second bro goes so far up. That second shot just went like just a few inches above the target. So yeah, pretty good range for the second bro. Weirdly enough, this guy's so weird. You literally get normal range with the first bro and the second one's like some over boosted, like high range bro. It's pretty funny though. But as far as the first barrel goes, actually not too inaccurate from about 30, 40 feet away. This guy's definitely more for the gimmick, but definitely a cool little quirky airsoft gun. All right, next up we have a AW pistol. This guy comes in at just under $200, about $195. All right, so what do we get in the box? Let's check it out. Ooh! If you guys watch some Star Wars, you guys pretty much know right away what this guy is. This is actually Han Solo's pistol he used in the movies. But the main body of the pistol is based off of a Mauser's. You can see a lot of the commonalities right there. You have an adjustable iron sight right there. You can take this little button, press that in. You can actually just adjust this little slider forward and that actually makes the iron sight go up. So if you want to shoot a little bit of a longer range, you can actually do that with that cool little button right there. This guy is definitely a quirky airsoft pistol. To actually adjust it from semi-automatic to full auto, there is the little fire slick right there. It's starts at N and then it goes to R. So R is full auto and N is semi-automatic. And then you put this guy in safety mode. All you have to do is take this lever and go up and now it is in safe. And if you take the lever and go down, it is in fire mode. So what is going on with this crazy scope? Does it actually work? Well, kind of. Obviously you can see this scope is probably not the most functional thing in the world because it is so much to the right. It is so off in the iron sights that it's probably more for looks, but it does have one thing that actually works about it. If you look through it, you can see a standard looking little sniper scope crosshair. But if you go to the top right here, it actually has this really cool little working gold dial. And what happens when you actually turn this guy is the crosshair will actually move upward. So giving you a little bit more of a farther range for this guy. So where the heck is the actual magazine for this guy? Well, the actual little release is actually that button right there. And then once you actually press that down, the magazine will actually fall out. And that's what it looks like right there. Definitely a small little quirky guy. There is actually where you load up the BBs. I think this guy holds about 10 BBs or maybe even less. And that is where you actually put in the green gas down there. Without further ado, let's actually go ahead and see how this guy shoots. All right, that is a fun kickback. All right, so first shot is 307.2 FPS with 0 0.88 joules. Second shot. Second shot is 297.4 FPS with 0 0.82 joules. Third shot. 291.1 FPS with 0 0.79 joules. All right, let's put this bad boy to full auto and see what the RPS is. All right, didn't quite read that one. Let's do a second test. Whew. That's pretty quick though. All right, let's try this test one more time. No, it still doesn't read. Well, it shot the whole magazine pretty much within a second. So uh, yeah, pretty fast, let's just say that. All right, let's see what this guy's got at 50 feet. Whew. Not too shabby, pretty satisfying kickback too. Not too bad. That's it for 10 rounds. Not too bad for 50 feet with this guy. Definitely very usable for 50 feet. There is the grouping right there. Let's see if we can actually hit the target. Woo! Okay, I missed that last shot, but wow, not too bad. I thought this guy would be all about gimmicks, but actually shoots not too bad either. About 80 feet, we got a couple up here. We got a small grouping of three right there and a small grouping of two right there. So yeah, obviously I missed one as well, but yeah, not too bad for this guy. Let's actually see how fast the sim automatic is on this guy. Ooh. 
Nice. And of course, let's do a full auto test. Woo. Definitely empties out that 10 round mag super quick. All right, guys, next up we have the $240 Maxim 9 by Crytac. Pretty cool box, obviously. This guy has some really nice like little texturing to the actual box itself, but let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like. Ooh, very professional. All right, so first up, we have a really nice like instruction manual by Crytac. Let's actually go ahead and pop this guy open and see if there's anything cool in here. Looks like you get a little warranty thingy, ba bob Pretty much everything you would assume from a normal owner's manual, but yeah, this guy has some really cool like little specs about the airsoft gun itself and just kind of some warnings and stuff like that. All right, and then what do we got in the box? Let's see. Ooh, very nice. All right, so first up, it looks like we got... Another end piece right here for the actual pistol itself. Looks like we got a little magazine. It's actually a super light magazine for some reason. This is probably the lightest like gas blowback pistol magazine I've ever felt weirdly. I don't know why, but like it just feels so much lighter than the normal gas blowback pistols. Very interesting. I wonder if there's like more plastic in this design or if, like it just like new lighter weight metals. I have no idea, but it's very lightweight for some reason. But you actually load the gas at the top right there. Besides that, pretty basic though. It's just a double stacked gas blowback magazine. A little baggie right here with some Allen keys right there. Looks like you also get a little clean rod in this little place right there but let's go actually check out the actual pistol itself Ooh, okay very nice got a little crytac tag right there let's take that off but this is pretty much what we're working with right here as far as the weight or first impressions this guy does feel pretty high quality nothing feels like super cheap with this guy that's always a plus but the weight is pretty much what you'd expect definitely not on the lightweight side this guy is definitely a bigger pistol but you know not overly heavy but it does have some nice weight to this guy Ooh, very satisfying when you pull that bad boy back. There's that little tiny like lever in the middle of the trigger that has to actually be compressed and then you could press the trigger back. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you cannot pull the trigger back. Kind of reminds me of like a Halo 1 pistol or something crazy like that with this huge ass like front end. Definitely a very unique grip design. Definitely stands out from normal pistols. And if you want, you can actually, it looks like they have some like key mod segment at the bottom right there if you want to put a flashlight or laser, which is actually kind of interesting. Usually they just like include a rail, but with this guy, you actually have to put your own like key mod segment. So that's actually kind of interesting. And you got these like two little like bar looking things at the top, but actually the slide actually is fitted on. So very interesting. This guy definitely looks very quirky, and I'm actually really curious to see the actual performance of this guy. This guy actually came out very recently and is a pretty new pistol in the market. So without further ado, let's go ahead and test this guy out. This guy does have semi-automatic and full auto, so we'll start with semi-automatic. Let's see what the FPS is. Ooh, that's kind of interesting kickback, pretty satisfying. First shot is 328.5 FPS with exactly one jewel. Let's try the second shot. Second shot is 321 FPS with 0 0.96 joules. Third shot. Wow, this uh, kickback is like super crisp, but yet hard. It's pretty nice. Third shot is 313 FPS with 0 0.91 joules. And then to turn it to full auto, you just basically pull back the slide. There's a little button down there. You just switch that down and then you're ready to go. Looks like we got about 12.7 rounds per second. This thing is like throwing me off so much. It's like the lightest like gas blowback pistol bag I've ever felt. And this is like one of the heaviest like gas blowback pistols I've ever felt. It's like they're trying to make up how heavy this pistol is for how light this magazine is. But without further ado, let's actually go ahead and test it out at 50 feet. Very solid grouping for the 50 feet test. We missed a few on the target, but not too bad. Definitely a solid grouping for 50 feet. You would hope this guy would shoot that good for being $240. Now let's go back another 30 feet and see what this guy's got. That's it, let's get some more BBs. This guy definitely struggled a little bit at 80 feet, but definitely not too bad results. So we got a good grouping right here on the target. But of course you do pay for that full auto feature. So without further ado, let's turn this guy to full auto and test it out. The BB stream on full auto seems to be pretty consistent and the RPS isn't too shabby either. While we're at it, let's actually test the amount of Mac response too. So this guy definitely doesn't have the fastest cycle rate on semi-automatic, but it makes up for it with its very solid kickback and trigger feel. All right, what do we have next up? This is a product from King Arms. This is a $250 airsoft pistol. Let's go ahead and check it out. 
Ooh, check this guy out. First of all, we got some weird like little, I don't even know what this is. Let's check it out. It says load green gas good, load green gas bad. According to these stickers, I guess you're supposed to uh, load the green gas in a cute angle to charge the uh, gas. And if you use a uh, right angle, your charge gas will fail. Little did you know your geometry class as a kid would come in handy while loading green gas into a airsoft revolver. So with that said, let's go ahead and check this guy out. Oh damn, this is actually really heavy, holy sh all right, let's check this guy out. Pretty cool. This guy is definitely a hefty boy. Definitely looks a lot bigger than the actual pictures when I bought this guy. But this thing looks insane. Obviously, this guy like isn't painted, I don't think. It has this like raw metal color on it, which is pretty sick. It looks like you have a little tag from King Arms actually doing a little velocity test on this guy. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take that guy off. Oof. You get a little rail on the actual right side of the airsoft gun as well as the bottom. And you get a little like extended longer rail on the left side. So uh, definitely very interesting. Never seen a airsoft revolver with rails on it. Definitely probably one of my favorite iron sights I've seen on any airsoft a pistol. It just is like very unique, but like works very well, weirdly. So pretty sick. And this is a gas revolver. So the green gas is actually loaded up at the bottom, like we saw in these pictures over there. All right. So how do you actually load this guy up? Well, there's this little piece that actually comes out like so. And then now you have access to that little spinning cylinder and the actual shells themselves. And then there is a little spring mechanism right here. You can actually just take that and then pop these shells out with that. So as an example, there you go. There is one shell out. There is all of our shells lined up right there. All you have to do is put a little single BB and actually the end right there. Pretty sure these shells are metal as well as the actual cylinder itself. So definitely a satisfying sound in loading this guy up. Definitely a super satisfying sound because this guy is full metal. All right, first shot with this bad boy. Looks like you got 290.7 FPS with 0.78 joules. Second shot. Ooh, almost just yeeted the corner off. Ooh. Second shot is 258.6 FPS with 0.62 joules. All right, third shot. Looks like we got 286.8 FPS with 0.76 joules. Of course, now we're utilizing all of the rail space. We've added a flashlight, a laser, and a grip. All right, let's turn on our laser and our flashlight and see what this guy's got. Wow. Bruh. All right, damn, uh, this guy sucks. We went ahead and loaded up some more shells. Let's go ahead and scoot up a little bit and see if this guy can even hit the target. There we go. Damn, I even have to aim up at this distance. That's crazy. So a uh, somewhat consistent grouping, but yeah, still had to shoot about 30 feet away to even get to the target with this guy. And the BB grouping was still down here, even though I was aiming up here. So it's, uh, yeah, not the best performance. All right, up next, we definitely have one of the weirdest airsoft guns in the video, but definitely a really cool one to check out. But let's go ahead and unbox this guy. So starting out with some quirks about the package, this guy's a really cool like sealed sticker with a Tokyo Mirai signature on there. I think even a custom sticker even for this box because it has like some pink lettering, so pretty cool. So let me actually explain how this works because normally airsoft guns don't come with this super cool packaging like this. This is the $320 Tokumuri Vorpal Bunny AM.45 gas ballback airsoft gun. And it's really awesome. Tokumuri actually worked with an official collaboration with Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gal Online Anime. And they actually created this really cool pistol. This is a special AM.45 made just for L-L-E-N-N -N or Lin in the actual anime and it's called the Vorpal Bunny. But let's go ahead and see what is in this box. So. Slide this bad boy right off right there. Really cool to see an airsoft manufacturer in an anime do a collaboration for an airsoft gun. Very cool. Has like the actual pistol like kind of like outlined in a white design on the actual box as well as the actual like theme colors for the pistol as well. Pokemon brand in pink too. So very cool packaging. Let's go ahead and slide this off and see what it looks like. 
All right, so first up, let's go ahead and open this and check it out. It's got these standard little cool like Japanese cartoons of how not to use your airsoft gun on the back right there. But let's check out what's in here. Definitely very cool. They did a full custom owner's manual with all the art and actual pictures of the airsoft gun itself within the owner's manual right there. And then the art of the anime on the front too. All right, but let's actually see what this guy looks like. Ooh. So I can't imagine if you're a fan of this anime and you're a fan of airsoft getting something like this, this is definitely a really cool collaboration. And it does look like it actually comes with access to a special episode under here. So that's really cool. Holy cool has like the little airsoft gun right there. Let's check it out. Obviously, I'm pretty sure what is in this booklet is just a whole bunch of Japanese. Obviously, I cannot read any of this. Pretty cool it comes to something special like this. Now, it looks like you slide this open. So let's slide this guy back up here and see what we got. Looks like we got some BBs right here, as well as a little barrel plug right there. You get some Allen keys as well, and then some little extra lips in case they break under Airsoft Magazine. This is definitely a very special experience unboxing this guy. I've never had such a cool experience unboxing an Airsoft gun in my whole life, so pretty cool. So I guess that is it. This is like a little booklet with a like written special episode for the actual anime, so it's really cool you get access to that. Now let's go ahead and actually check out the Airsoft gun itself. Definitely a very quirky Airsoft gun to say the least. It's got the name of it right there, Vorpal Bunny, and then the name of the anime right there. Definitely very curious to see how this guy will shoot. Definitely feels a little bit nicer than I would have thought. I believe the slide is metal along with some of the other parts, but I think this thing is mainly made of a polymer for the like lower half, as well as this grip right here and then this front grip right here as well. I think those are all plastic, but this guy does have some good weight to it. Definitely not too bad. And it's pretty cool. These actual iron sights have black dots instead of white dots like normal airsoft pistols. And the back iron sight is actually moved up a little bit further than a standard airsoft pistol. So that's kind of an interesting little design. It's got a really cool like straight trigger as well and a like little bit bigger of a magazine release right Right there. And then as far as the magazine goes, this is a pretty skinny little gas back magazine. It is a double stack magazine as well. And you put the green gas at the bottom right there. And of course, when you put this guy in the airsoft gun, it has that really cool little plastic piece at the bottom of the magazine to like tie off the look with the whole airsoft pistol. But that is pretty much it for this guy. Very cool unboxing experience, but let's go ahead and see how this guy shoots now. Is it really worth $300? Well, let's go find out. All right, first shot. We got 221.1 FPS with 0.45 joules. Next shot, 222.1 FPS with 0.46 joules, very consistent. Third shot is 221.1 FPS with 0.45 joules. Wow, very low FPS, but uh, very consistent. Very nice. Wow, this guy's pretty nice. Pretty sensitive trigger too. We had a couple mistakes up here when I was trying to figure out where this guy was shooting, but yeah, definitely when I got this thing down, definitely a super solid gripping right here. I was expecting this guy to kind of be more of a gimmick or like, you know, a collectible than it is like performance, but wow, actually not too bad for performance. Definitely makes it a little bit more tricky with these black iron sights at this range. Ooh. Wow, definitely a very solid grouping for 80 feet with this guy. All right, now let's test the sim on back response. Not too bad. I actually really didn't expect to like this guy as much as I do. Has a very nice responsive trigger, the cycle rate is very good, and the kickback feels very nice as well. So if you see someone on the field using this pistol, I probably wouldn't judge too quick. This thing probably shoots better than your pistol. All right, guys, up next, we have the EMG Strike Series $330 Proforce SIG P320 M17. Let's check this guy out. Up first, we got a little paper for the owner's banner right there. All right, but that is what we're working with right here. This guy is insane. Definitely a weird airsoft gun. Let's check this guy out. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's got a full rail on the top right here. Weirdly enough, doesn't really have any rail space on the sides for this guy or the bottom, but it does have like a little built-in kind of like foregrip on the bottom as well as these like little indents. So I think you could take your four fingers and like hold it like that if you would like. You could actually add a stock with this little attachment right there at the back, as long as it has that little slide in stock design. Has an assortment of a Whole bunch of really cool like futuristic like sharp edges for this guy very aggressive design and if you want to actually utilize this weird piece right here you can actually put your three fingers through there and actually like grip it like that so pretty interesting but i guess how to grip the rest of this guy with your other hand it's up for interpretation i guess you could put your you know thumb through here you could do a c grip or you could put your four fingers in these little spots right there on the other side i guess you could do whatever you want it's really cool though it has this little hole through the airsoft gun you can actually see the top of the slide right there so pretty cool 
And then there is the little safety lights right there. So I'm pretty sure it is off safe right now. And then if you put this guy up, there is on safe. Definitely a very cool design. Now let's go ahead and check out the Airsoft magazine that came with this guy. So there is the magazine right there. Pretty much a standard gas fillback double stack magazine. You put the gas actually at the top right there. All right, first shot. 297.6 FPS with 0.82 joules. Second shot. 290.6 FPS with 0.78 joules. Last shot. 288.3 FPS with 0.77 joules. All right, great results at 50 feet. We even got a bullseye too, so not too bad with no iron sights. Let's jump back another 30 feet and see what it's got at 80 feet. All right, so for this guy, I've been actually using 0.32 gram BBs instead of 0.25 grams because the hop up is a little crazy on this guy, but from just eyeballing it, not too bad of results. All right, let's do a trigger response test now. The cold weather is starting to take a toll in the sky, but yeah, not too bad for semi-automatic response. All right, guys, I know in today's video, we've been through lots of weird airsoft pistols, but I guarantee this will be the weirdest. This is the grand finale of today's video, and this guy costs $1,100. And it comes in the super plain cardboard box, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, but let's go ahead and check this guy out. Woo, baby, damn, this is sick. All right, you guys see it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. This is the Amped Airsoft ATI Sub 5 HPA Airsoft Pistol. And as you can see, this thing is like nothing you probably have ever seen. These things actually just got released as well. So pretty cool. We're getting one of the first ones. I know this thing doesn't look super small, but this is definitely like one of the lightest airsoft pistols I've ever felt my whole life. I spec'd mine with a green and black theme, as you can see. The first quirky thing about this guy is actually the iron sight. So as you can see, there's only one at the top. They actually decided not to do a second back one. So there is only one iron sight at the very top right there. It's got the uh, Thunderbolt and Airsoft logo right there. It looks pretty sweet as well as the name of the Airsoft pistol. Okay, you might be asking yourself, how the heck does this guy even work? This guy is actually powered by a Polar Star F2 engine. You could actually see it peeking through right there. That is why there is a huge line sticking out the back because this guy is powered by compressed air. And I really like what they did with the front design. They actually made a little clear window at the front so you can actually see your fire control unit, which is basically this little computer in that little box right there. And that little computer is basically the brains of this Airsoft pistol. It controls a whole bunch of really cool settings within the engine and the actual airsoft gun itself, like the rate of fire, for example. And there's the little hop-up adjustment right there. You can actually adjust it on either side and you can see the full hop-up. And if you adjust that little wheel up or down, that actually creates a backspin or less backspin on the actual BB itself, making the BB actually go shorter or longer ranges. Pretty cool. There's the actual magazine release right there. And then as well as the crazy looking trigger right there, as a like a basically a straight trigger, it has these little like cool teeth on it. And you can actually hear the click right there too. And that little clicking sound is actually the trigger making contact with the little micro switch on the trigger board, making the actual airsoft gun shoot pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure that is actually the fire slick right there. Let's just say it's on semi-automatic right now. And you can actually just flip this guy forward and is on full auto now. And you might be asking yourself, what the heck kind of magazines does this pistol take? Well, it takes PTS EPM ARP9 magazines. And don't worry, I got a few extras because I know this guy shoots an insane RPS. But let's go ahead and check out the airsoft magazine right here. So this is the full one right there. Very long airsoft magazine, but very good quality. Let's go ahead and put this guy in. And that's basically what it looks like with the whole airsoft magazine and definitely adds a huge length to the actual airsoft pistol but you probably need this guy because this thing shoots an extremely fast semi automatic response and full auto so having extra big magazines will definitely come in handy with this guy all right very curious to see how this guy would shoot let's test it out damn that trigger response though Woo, baby all right so we have the psi at about 90 let's test out the fps First shot is 225.7 FPS with 0.47 joules. Second shot is 220.6 FPS with 0.45 joules. 
And then the third shot is 221.1 FPS with 0.45 joules. Why does a thousand dollar plus HBA gun only shoot 220 FPS? Well, it's actually because of a few factors. So the first factor is this guy does have a super small barrel and that definitely doesn't help with getting higher FPS. And then the second variable is this guy is HPA. We're only running 90 PSI. So if you want to actually crank the PSI, you can go all the way to 110 or 120. And you can obviously adjust all of the computer systems within this guy to actually make the FPS higher. I think the highest they can achieve with this setup is about low 300s. What we're going to be using this guy obviously for is some like closer ranges this thing is kind of more in my opinion like a ckb pistol for high speed gameplay this guy is probably not best for like outdoor sniping or longer ranges now let's test the rps Woo! about 23.9 rps sheesh but after actually tinkering with some of the fcu settings we actually turned this guy up quite a bit as you could hear so with the previous settings the rps was capped at about 24 rps now with these new settings let's test this guy out this guy's now shooting about 30 rounds per second. All right, now let's test the range out. So this guy has a super small barrel and that's kind of what we're noticing right here. We do have a good grouping right here actually on the target, but all the rest of them are pretty inconsistent. We have a whole bunch spread out by the outskirts of the target, but yeah, overall, yeah, not very accurate airsoft gun. Kind of disappointing for a thousand dollars, but not really at the same time because that's not really why you buy this guy. This guy is pretty much just made to shoot really fast. Just look how sensitive that trigger is. It's insane. And this guy pretty much has no cap on cycle rate, so you can pretty much pull this guy as fast as you possibly can. And of course, this guy's full auto is absolutely ridiculous. So I know this guy probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but that is why it is the king of the weird airsoft pistols. You're basically paying for the crazy uniqueness of this guy and obviously the semi-auto and full auto response. Not a lot of people have this. Even in my invoice, they actually said I was one of the very first people to get this. And people obviously have very funny opinions about this guy. Bruh. But as far as usability goes, this guy is pretty much just like bragging rights. It's just super unique. But obviously if you do play at a super close quarter CQB field, this thing would actually be pretty good. But pretty much any other field or mid-range or long range, this guy is uh, not very good.